Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kylie Zoe and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my Pretty Little Thing review. Honestly, you guys and I'm sure many, many of you girls have gone through the exact same thing with Pretty Little Thing because I have bought a fair few items from them and I'm not even joking, 95% of the items that I have brought from them I've returned purely down to quality, fit, colour, just everything. So I'm going to show you a top that I bought recently from them, which I wanted to wear for a night out with the girls. And that is not going to be happening because this top is just an absolute letdown. So stay tuned. So in this bag, I have the pretty little thing top, which I ordered online. I will show you also a picture next of what the top looks like online and yep yeah, let's just see what this is so this is what the top sorry about my snapchat going off in the background if you can hear it so this is what the top looks like it's a corset leopard print top it's quite nice in a satin fabric feels quite nice but honestly when you guys see what it looks like on i'm sorry but just no just no it's a no from me because this top <sighs> i can't even deal so the top was retailed at 22 pounds on pretty little thing and i was just so so excited for when the top was going to come I was like planned my outfit everything how I was going to have my hair how I was going to have a makeup and then when I tried the top on I was like wow so I'm going to show you what the top looks like on and I'm going to be going through all the little points of exactly why I do not purchase clothes from pretty little thing anymore so here we go so this is what the top looks like on and it doesn't look too bad really does it but when i start to point out all the tiny little faults with the top then you will see exactly what i mean and also comparing it to the picture and how it fits on the model you're going to be like okay now i see your point so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better a better view of what the top looks like what the top looks like on the top is meant to be a corset fit corset fits anyone that knows is meant to be quite fitted and figure hugging which this top isn't look at the bottom of the top it's very loose and flimsy and the top shouldn't sit like that it should be very fitted i should I'm literally pulling the top so that it's so tight to my, my figure and literally that is how much I'm having to pull the top in just so that it sits nice and snug. Secondly, the boning, which is the little ribbed bits in the corset, is very flimsy and you can just tell that it's really bad quality. Thirdly, I'm quite picky of when I buy clothes, especially online, of the quality because I studied fashion at university. I've made clothes of my own, so I know exactly how clothes should be made. So for, for those of you who don't know, a centre front is what sits right at the front of your garment. So in this case, it's the top. This is ridiculous, like... The centre front is so out on this top, like it's not even sitting properly, it's pushing to one side. Literally, this this part of the top should be sitting right here and it's not, it's push, pulling all to one side and it shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't have to be adjusting my top so that it's literally in line like that, it's ridiculous. Also, the quality, oh my gosh. When I took the top out of the parcel, I was like... Are you actually joking me? Like it's, I know paper thin is exaggerating, but honestly it could pass for paper thin because it's just, it's like one thin layer 
of fabric. The fabric is meant to be satin. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% satin because of the price that you're paying for. £22, what do you expect? But anyway, this top, the quality is just, I'm sorry, it's a no. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm really disappointed in this. Also, the colour was out. Yes, I know sometimes Photoshop and everything can make a product look completely different to when you get it, but come on guys, the shade is completely darker than what the picture shows. So again, I know it's not a massive um, difference, but I just think that if you're gonna be selling a product, you want to have exactly what you see online to when you actually receive it. And just these little things like, Quality for me is a massive thing when I'm buying things online and the quality is just really bad on this top I'm not even joking when I say 95% of the clothes that I have bought from pretty little thing I have returned nearly every single item purely down to the poor quality of the clothes because the materials I don't know what it is the materials that they use. is just really bad. So I'm really not impressed with pretty little thing sorry this purchase is a no for me so i'm giving it a thumbs down so i hope you guys enjoyed my video and also enjoyed my little rant on about pretty little thing and their products but honestly guys i hope that my review will help you with your future shopping online because there's nothing worse than getting all excited about an outfit looking for something you know having a little look online and then when you actually get the product you're like wow i wish i would have read a review on that because honestly reviews do help so much more when you actually buy a product so take my advice and please be careful when you buy from pretty little thing because you will nine times out of ten be disappointed just down to the fact of the quality is really bad so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with my videos and i will see you next time bye